I think people should study at Otley College because, uh, I mean, A, the first thing is the location. I mean, we're in a beautiful part of Suffolk. We take students from 14 to 85. Um, we offer education and training across a, a broad spectrum um, from sort of level one pre-entry uh, qualifications right the way through to foundation degrees. So I think it's really about the diversity of, of that offer. We are a specialist college and so we cater for the rural community as well as serving the needs of, of people from some of the larger towns in the area as well. And uh, we have a good reputation for being supportive for students and tailoring to their individual needs. But we do have specialist provision and uh, some of that specialist provision is recognised as being the best in the, in the sector. So we're trying to sort of make sure that our facilities are the best um, and certainly keep it up, up to date with sort of modern trends in industry. I th the highlight of my job, in fact, are, you know, which is uh, what the college is here for, is for students to achieve. Most of our students here do work experience placements, so we have a large number of industries, animal care industries, that are willing to take on our students and they gain invaluable um, experience actually working with animals, but in the, in the real world. Um, three to four years ago we only had um, 16 full-time students, we now got between 120 and 130. They're a good team from love lecturers, instructors, assessors, technicians, all the way down, and the support of other areas here at Otley, it can't work. And I think there's been a, a general change here at Otley, that everybody has come here and wants to be here and wants to you know, push it forward. The only college in East Anglia actually offer roofing and also plastering. Um, we've done, we do multi-skills here now. Um, where we never used to do that, and that's a segment of six trades, plumbing, painting, decorating, electrical installation, um, carpentry, brickwork and um, plastering. We're hoping to start electrical installation because, um, again, there's such a shortage of that as well. Um, we've, got, we've got great links with employers now, and construction at Otley is the biggest growth area we've got. Yes, we've had to, she had um, 12 ladies from the Dido project come in. Um, we've done a really nice taster session on, on plumbing. Uh, what we've done is segmented them into three groups and I've had a go here doing, doing some copper pipe work, um, some waste pipe. We've also been doing some, some lead work in roofing because obviously part of the plumber's um, trade is lead work. And also another two or three have actually had a go at actually plumbing in a sink and actually cutting into a worktop in the carpentry workshop. Because the staff and myself really want to make sure the students do achieve. And um, when you go out there talking to people, uh, there's a good atmosphere here and I think that's what sets us apart because everybody does care. When students have finished studying with us, they will go on to a range of different jobs in the equine industry. It may be that they go and become a riding instructor, or they go and work in a show jumping yard, or an inventing yard, or a dressage yard. Um, they may decide to go to Newmarket, which is obviously the heart of racing in Suffolk, uh, and take that on as part of their career. Or they could go into any of the other industries associated with horses, like the feed industry, the tack industry. Currently really excited in the equine team because we have brand new facilities um, um, which we'll be able to use this year. They consist of an indoor school, an outdoor school, um, indoor stabling and teaching areas uh, all in one area uh, right next to the paddocks. Um, so we're really excited that we'll be able to give students even better chance with these uh, improved facilities. The industry doesn't want people that sit in a classroom and read books, they want people that know how to look after horses and understand why they're doing what they're doing and that really is the thrust of what we do here. We're really lucky that we have a range of horses on the yard that are owned by private individuals. Some of them are students, some of them are just people that um, would like to keep the horses in this type of environment. The horse that I've, I'm stood next to is called McGill and he's been rescued by the International League for the Protection of Horses and he's on loan to the college. Um, so we have been part of his rehabilitation back into work and it's a really useful way to get the students to realise that um, these sort of organisations are out there to rescue horses and to promote their welfare um, and we're really pleased to have, had, have such a good relationship and he's a very useful horse and the students all love him. Uh, just before Christmas at the end of the autumn term we ran a horse dressage competition so all of the students rode uh, a horse through a dressage test. They were all judged, they were all part of a team um, which meant that they had to work together they were all decorated in tinsel and, um, and Santa's hats uh, and it went, was good fun, a good way to finish off the, the autumn term but it was also really educational because I think only one of the students that competed had ever ridden a dressage test before. 
We get a lot of young people, so it's a, it's a very busy up and coming area. Always has been popular, but increasingly popular. Plants are an international language. They, uh, wherever they occur, they're called the same in that country as they are called here. So it's a great opportunity to travel and to, to look at other countries and how they, how they do things. We've had students who've gone on um, into many areas and become very well known in this country and, and internationally, really. Most recently, we've had people who've trained here and gone on and become TV presenters. We've had people who have gone on to start their own arboricultural businesses. Uh, people who've become well-known designers in their own right. I think the main reason why students of all ages want to come and work with us, you can see behind me and, and elsewhere in this place, People want to do something practical, and horticultural is all about learning practical skills. Well, even though we've got a long history of being a land-based college, we've diversified to meet the needs of all the local employers and a wide range of students. We're all about getting you the job that you really want. Well, food production is the basis of everything that we do. Without food, you're going nowhere. Our students progress into a wide range of um, areas, everything from tractor driving, through livestock production into farm management as well as progressing on to higher education courses where they may finish up within the agricultural supply industry. Otley College is one of the, the fastest growing colleges in the, uh, in the region and uh, always providing extra courses to keep up with demand uh, wherever it is needed. But what sets Otley apart is that it's, uh, it's out in the country, it's very open, uh, very friendly uh, and gives students a chance to meet people from around the area who travel into the college. Uh, we're starting to build up a very good and uh, fruitful partnership with Ipswich Town uh, through our uh, links with their academy, uh, providing extra coaching uh, for the students here at Otley uh, to do with their football and also in the future looking to bring the academy players to the college to deliver some of the units for their BTEC courses. In the, the Astrodome behind us, uh, the Ipswich Town Academy boys are presently uh, taking the, uh, the BTEC uh, chaps from the college uh, for football coaching sessions, We've been doing shooting drills and the likes, and it's great to be able to use that sort of facility for, for these sort of courses. It's more of a lifestyle, I think, than, than just a sport. Uh, the, a lot of the guys are interested in just football, which, and I love football, but there's rowing, there's kickboxing, there's tennis, there's just every sport. It just gives you that extra buzz. Uh, there's lots of fun things to do. Uh, for example, we're doing the skeletal system, so we're looking at a, a mobile skeleton. Uh, with the brand new courses for the BTEC, uh, we're looking at uh, land and water-based activities, so there'll be a chance for students to participate in dinghy sail and canoeing, uh, kayaking, windsurfing, also land-based, uh, we're looking at paintballing, laser quest, uh, shooting uh, and many other activities that uh, to go along with the course. I've always been in, interested in sports since I was younger and unfortunately there wasn't many opportunities uh, when I was at school until I went to college and since then I've progressed up through and gained the valuable knowledge which hopefully now I'm passing on to the students. What sets Otley apart from other colleges within the area is that it's the first to do the BTEC National Diploma in sport but specialising in outdoor education. Uh, the staff have got a, a very good depth of knowledge and very recent industry experience. The best thing about teaching is imparting the knowledge and skills that I've gained over the years to, to trainees. Over the years some of the students have gone on to do engineering degrees, others run their own businesses, plant maintenance, plant hire companies, um, and some work for the larger companies around Suffolk for agriculture and horticultural maintenance. I think the department's going to go from strength to strength. We've got a lot of manufacturers links that we currently work with, Jaguar with Nissan, and we're looking to expand those into the agriculture and horticultural side of engineering. So we've got a very good enrichment program which gives them a wide variety of activities, things like the pit stop challenge where students will um, be against the clock doing wheel changes, scaled down version of a Formula One type pit stop. <laughs> 